guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a quick get ready with me while I tested a couple new products and I wanted to just kind of chit chat with you as I put my makeup on and got ready for my day. I tend to have horrible, horrible luck when it comes to sitting down to film because the weather is usually awful. We have like hurricane like winds in Connecticut today. Trees and leaves and branches are like flying everywhere. The gutter on the house I can like hear moving back and forth. So if you hear any weird noises throughout this video, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm just gonna jump right into it and we'll get started. Okay, so I got my hair cut on Friday. My hairdresser gave me this like really cute side bang. I actually really, really love, but it's like, I have to style it. I'm just gonna pin everything out of my face. Okay, all the new products that I'm gonna be using and talking about today are from Josie Marin or Moran. I'm not sure how you say it, but I say Josie Marin. I have four of her products. We're gonna start by moisturizing our face with Josie's Pure Argon Milk. Um, this is an intensive hydrating treatment and I've been using this as a moisturizer. I really like it. I love the way that it smells. This packaging is beautiful and it's a really lightweight formula, but it intensely hydrates your skin. It really does. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto my face. The dropper, it doesn't drop very well, but we're going to rub it all in. It smells really good. Okay, next I'm gonna use her Argon Moonstone Drops in this fancy little package. Um, and this is a makeup primer and highlighting oil, so you have to shake it up really well. God. And it's a really pretty, like, iridescent shimmer. And I'm just gonna drop it. Ooh. And it gives you this, like, glow. It definitely has like a more perfumey scent to it, which I don't really like when my products have a strong scent, um, but I do like the way that it feels. It's very soft, it's very hydrating. I feel like my skin has a lot of moisture on it right now. I've been breaking out a lot lately. I think it's like partially due to hormones, partially due to all the Halloween candy I've been eating, and partially due to all of the new makeup and skincare products I've been trying. I think just like using so many different things on my skin has kind of shocked it a little bit and I need to slow down. Luckily, you're gonna find out in the next 30 days or so. I recently agreed to do a collaboration with a major skincare brand, which I've actually used and loved for years and years and years. So I'm gonna be committed to their products for six months. So you'll get to see like a consistent routine. Okay, so now that this is all set, my skin feels like very oily, but it's very soft. Oh, I actually, I really like it. I really like how it feels. Now we're gonna take this gorgeous Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation. And how cute is this packaging? Oh my God, this wind. What I love about her products so much is the packaging. And I know that's not a good way to kind of like judge a product, but her stuff is so cute. I selected a shade that was a bit lighter than what I would normally go for, just because I know we're approaching winter and my skin is already getting so, so pale. So this is um, the shade Electric, and I'm just gonna apply this to my Real Techniques brush, which I love to use for foundation, and then blend it in to my skin. See, it's definitely a little lighter. But it's kind of just right for this time of year. So, blend it in well. Is the lighting in this video going crazy? The sun is like popping in and out, the clouds. So this week is the start of November and I'm like ready to do my Christmas shopping. Actually like a month ago I said I wanted to start my Christmas shopping and I never did, but I have been like collecting some ideas for what I wanna get people. I wanna get really like thoughtful, good gifts this year. I say this every year, but I don't know. I always end up scrounging at the last minute. What are some of your favorite places to buy holiday gifts? Let me know. I don't know if it's the oils or the foundation itself, but I feel like I'm dragging it along my face when I use it. I don't know, maybe I use a little too much. I don't really think so, but like you can see my brush marks. Can you see them? Like on my forehead. It's just a little much for me, but the color blends perfectly and then I'm gonna go back in when I do my concealer and touch up with a beauty blender so hopefully that'll help kind of blend and set everything better. Um, but normally, 
I don't have any problems with my brush. My skin is not loving me lately. I'm really not liking this foundation coverage at all. It's a medium to light coverage, but it's just very like oily right now. All right, hopefully the beauty blender saves the day. So then I got one of her Argon Creamy Concealers in the shade Light One, because I like my concealer to be a little bit lighter than my foundation. This is very, very, very creamy. So I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. I'm just gonna touch up any blemishes. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and kind of blend it all in. And hopefully this helps set the foundation as well. Honestly, I think it's just, there's so much oil in these products. I don't love the foundation as much. I do like the concealer, but together, I think it might be a little too much, at least for, for my skin. I just don't love the way that this wears on me. And it doesn't cover my blemishes too well. I don't know, I think my skin just still looks a little uneven. Do you hear this wind? Now I'm gonna go in with my setting powder to hopefully set the face a little bit. I'm using the Kat Von D translucent powder, it's my favorite. I'm just going to... A setting powder like works wonders. If you don't use a setting powder, you should. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so that wasn't a full get ready with me. It was like a half get ready with me. I just don't always like to film the whole process because a lot of the things that they do and the products I use are the same every time. So I'd rather just not edit all that footage. I'd rather just like show you and discuss the things that I'm trying and then chit chat with you after. All right, so let's get honest about these Josie products. I used four of them and I think I only really like and would probably continue to use two of them. And that would be the Pure Argon Milk and the Argon Creamy Concealer. To be honest, Everything together is just a little too much for me. It feels like it's very creamy, even after I set it. I mean, it looks pretty good now once all is said and done, but the foundation is a bit too light coverage for me. I really enjoy a true medium to heavy coverage foundation just because it makes it easier to conceal all my blemishes and acne scars. So I'm not a huge fan of this foundation. These drops are just very scented and I, I'm not a huge fan of scented products. I feel like they irritate my skin. I don't know if that's a thing or not. It's probably something I won't use. I love this creamy concealer. I think it has a decent coverage. It does need a couple coats to cover some of my scars and you can see on my chin this one didn't cover very well I think you could wear this on its own I don't think you need a foundation with it I could probably apply this all over my face blend it in with my blender to simplify this whole routine I think I would use the milk I would use the crayon I'd blend it in with a blender and then set it with a translucent powder so that's really it I feel like this video is kind of random I don't know about any other youtubers but I have a really hard time sitting down, doing my makeup, and talking about anything other than the makeup. I just feel like I get sidetracked, I get confused, I start messing up words. I personally enjoy talking to you more than talking about products. I'd rather talk about something like more, I don't know, exciting and interesting. And I just wanted to come on here today and introduce you to some of these products and just tell you what I thought about them. All of the pure argan oil that she uses in her products are grown and harvested by Moroccan women, which I think is amazing. This company is all about women and if you maybe have dry skin it may be worth a shot looking at this line sorry I keep flipping my hair back and forth it's bothering me today Ugh. and that is the gutter I don't like the wind I'm terrified of the wind should I tell the story of why I'm scared of the wind I might do it real quick I told it last night actually at my family's like little dinner party so I am Horrified of the wind. People think I'm really weird. I'm like the stepsister from Planet Weird. Who remembers that Disney movie, anyone? She was so scared of the wind. The girl was like a bubble. <laughs> when I was in high school, I ran cross country my freshman year, and I remember it was September 11th, 2002, the one year anniversary, and we had a cross country practice, and it was so, so windy. I remember my mom being like, I cannot believe they're letting you guys run today. It was, it was dangerous. And we went out for our run, and I was like, a little nervous because you know like small branches and leaves were flying down everywhere and about halfway into my run I hear this really loud cracking noise I look to my left and this big old tree 
starts coming down right in front of me. There was a girl like a bit in front of me um, and the tree fell right between us. I turned around to run the other way and the power lines came down. And as I'm running, I was like running with my arms in the air and they got caught over the power lines. And the line, it, was, it must not have been live. I don't know, but the end of it was on fire. And it's whipping around and I'm on it. I kid you not. I'm flying in the air on this power line, just like bouncing up and down. I like jump off because I'm like, oh my God, where's this gonna throw me? I've never felt, <sighs> it's crazy. I jumped off, scraped up my knees. I had like burns from the power lines and I was stuck between lines and a tree that was down. The power line was still like whipping around. It ended up going into the tree and like lighting the tree on fire. So between the tree that's on fire, the rest of the power lines, there was a driveway. I ran down the driveway, knocked on these people's doors and I'm like, I just got caught. I was traumatized. I don't think they believed me because I was fine. Like aside from some scrapes and like, you know, a little busted knee, I was so lucky to be okay. We ended up going back to the school and no one was there to like witness my trauma except me, but I promise you it happened. And ever since then, I've just been so scared of the wind and really scared of anything above my head. I just don't like being in parking garages. I don't like being in stadiums. I just don't like having things over my head that could potentially fall on me. So today it's really windy out and I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna stay in the house and get some work done here because I just don't wanna give myself that anxiety. I'm a bit dramatic when it comes to this whole windy thing, but it's my personal fear. Are you guys scared of anything kind of bizarre? Is anyone else scared of the wind? particularly. <laughs> All right guys, so that's it. That's my weird little I'm scared of the wind story. <laughs> and those were some of the Josie Marin products. Let me know if you've ever tried any of her stuff before and what you really like. As you know, if you watched my recent empties video, I am not buying any more beauty products. Mind you, I do get scent products a lot of the time. So I'm doing my best to keep and use the ones that I like until they're done and give away or donate or toss the products that I don't like as much because I don't want them in my space. I am a minimalist in the making, sort of, um, in my own kind of way. I know I keep discussing this and I really intend to either film a video or write a blog post talking about my minimalist like obsession and how it's like changing my life. It's coming at some point, I promise. What's also coming is my thousand YouTube subscriber giveaway, which I haven't filmed. Maybe I'll film that later today. I already have like way more than a thousand subscribers, so I need to get this up and running before I grow anymore, which is a really good thing. I hope this channel continues to grow. I wanna get that done and get that up for you guys. So let me wrap this up. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I will see you next time. Ow.